while we think about what he could have potentially done in bodybuilding, I think more of what he potentially could have done in life. And I think that's where George shined. He was a great human being. I don't ever, I don't think I've ever met a person who's had a bad word to say about George. And I don't think I've ever seen George badmouth anyone. But he was a guy who always went to work. You know, he did his thing. You know, he, he was a hardworking guy. He loved what he did. He was passionate about it. And you can see it just was exuded in his face and, and how happy he was when he was on stage doing what he loved to do. And that to me is a fulfilling life. However, you know, I think he had so much more to give back, not just to the bodybuilding community, but to, to the people around him, his friends, his family. Um, he was just getting started. He wasn't even 40 years old yet. Um, this is a tragic, tragic loss that is going to reverberate throughout our community for quite some time. Thank you. Amazing up there. Appreciate you, brother. We're going to get that gold next year. You know? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. That's up, brother. I love the mat. Momentous occasion right. placing top three, right. so I'm still gonna give you what I promised. I'm gonna give you that dance. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't even like saying the words good luck. I hate good luck because guys like George know that you create your own luck. He's left no stone unturned. Just go out there and do what you do, George. Bring back that title. He's smiling too. He was a hardworking, you know, normal dude who was wanting to do the right thing all the time. Oh, it's 100% worth it. It's 100% worth it. Because the interesting thing about it is, and the ironic thing about it is, even though you're only on stage for, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, the impact that you can leave on that stage can last forever. I promise you, you heard it here first. After we win the uh, 212 Miss Olympia, I'm gonna bust out a dance right under the Olympia stage, watch. One of the great things about when you do well, you know, in a show or anything in life, being able to come and, and show that trophy to my mother, show it to my sister, looking at the, the expression on their face when they see I do well. And, I, and even if I don't do well, they're, they're, they're like, they're my, my crutch, you know, like I have them to lean on. Well, what pushes me is, you know, the, the fact that I know that I've come this far. You came this far, so you can't stop now. You can't, you, you know, you're at the point of no return. You gotta keep going. At the end of the day, if I do what I'm supposed to do, and I, you know, follow my training, my diet, and bring the look that I wanna bring, then people are gonna know me for that. And, uh, and that is price. That smile, was real. Always smiling when he was talking and stuff, and I mean, and he worked. He worked so hard. I just want to celebrate his life and, and as a human being. I mean, he was just a really good person, and everyone that is attending to celebrate George. You know, I do anything for him, anything in the world. Love you. Thank you, and I love you more. <laughs> I love you more, <laughs> and I'm just so very proud of George. I'm a proud of all of his accomplishments.